Alright, hello and welcome back. So, ever since the elemental patch fix, the elemental structures in the game uh, became really powerful and really relevant. And at the moment, the most powerful elemental structure is as Bianca, or also known as Bianca Verity. This is a lighting structure, lighting elemental structure, and properly built, she is at the moment the most powerful structure in the game. And the lighting team is at the moment the best team, and DPS wise, the most powerful team. Well, uh, you have also several options for the lighting team. You can go with as uh, we can, you can go with Bianca Verity as your primary DPS, paired with A Leaf and paired with Leaf Hope, and also you can use uh, Lucia Dawn as your primary DPS. She is a valid choice now after the after the update, so you can use her as the primary DPS as well. It will be uh, the difference is minor. It mostly depends on the gameplay and uh, how much you're used to play with the with the certain structures. But overall, uh, the teams that the team that I'll be using is Leaf Hope paired with A Leaf, and of course the main DPS will be Bianca Verity. That is pretty much one of my most common teams that you can see on the channel because pretty much at the moment that is the most powerful setup that I have. And like I said. Uh, Lucia Dawn is also a really valid choice for the DPS and also can be used as a support for a fully fledged lighting team. Uh, for a fully fledged lighting team, you can use uh, Lucia Dawn paired with primary DPS being as Bianca and primary support to be uh, Aleph. And of course, uh, you can also make your own team uh, that pretty much will suit your liking and will suit your gameplay. But in my case, at this very moment, I will choose the uh, this team and well time to see how they will perform in tests now this is the lighting map the lighting war zone pretty much one of my favorites and one of the current in games highest scoring war zones mostly because uh, at the moment because mostly because uh, bianca verity is such a powerful character and she can deliver such a big score with ease this character's speciality is mostly uh, at ranged attacks and she has her we call it the siege mode. Uh, once you match three red plus one blue, uh, three red plus one blue signals will give you the siege mode, and she will do most of her damage in that siege mode. The second most highest high damage that you can get from this character is from her ultimate, a really powerful area of effect ultimate that is uh, really lethal once you paired it with the A Leaf Scooty, which increases 20% lighting damage. So, how I play this character? Well, as you can see, I usually like to uh, farm the signals first, and then uh, with the evasion I match the one that I need, and after that I just roll with the siege mode or I roll with the ultimate. And you will, will want to have uh, Aleph Scooty on the field as much as you can, because it is really important uh, to maintain the DPS that 20% damage boost is really important and really helpful and of course uh, it means pro properly used you will get around 20-50% to 50 uh, higher score with her on the field than without her so at the moment, at the very moment uh, a -Live is the most is the best lighting support character in the game and I have her uh, set up to be a to be a semi DPS and of course semi uh, semi support. I usually like to switch a leave into the field and use her in boss battles, and then I can just switch uh, Bianca in with the boss enabled and then take out the boss with ease, as you will see later on in this video. As for as for leave hope, well, I use her mostly uh, for healing purposes, which you will see me uh, showcasing here. Now, she is extremely good at healing, uh, at the moment the best healer in the game, and as a healer uh, she has a couple roles. She can, of course, the, the most important role will be uh, healing, you don't want your structures to die on the field, and the second most important role is a tank, and a active tank. What does that mean? Well, a tank means that she can take damage, and pretty much recover damage, and can take hits instead of other structures. An active tank means that sh while she is taking damage, she can also recover health really quickly. And that gives her uh, some form of a survivability and some form of tanking, which is really important. And 
with the DPS characters in the game being uh, really fragile and being uh, killed really easily by the enemies, it is really recommended that you have uh, at least one uh, structure on the on the team that will be specialized in healing. In my case, that is uh, Leaf Hope or S Leaf. Uh, pretty much, it's the same character, and. Most of the most of the mistakes are going to happen once you run out of evasion, since most people when they start to play the game are going to ha have a problem with the limited evasion because they're going to be used to the infinite evasions uh, that we have in other games. But with this game, uh, you have to get used to the limited evasions, especially if you're choosing to uh, if you're choosing Lucia Dawn to be your primary DPS since Lucia Dawn is reliant on the evasion a lot and she doesn't uh, she doesn't forgive mistakes. Well, uh, Bianca Verity, for example, is a lot more easier to play since she is a ranged character. She will shoot the enemies from a distance, giving you a range advantage and giving you time to evade on time and, of course, to position yourself on the field on time. And that makes her really, uh, really lethal compared to... Uh, compared to Lucia Dawn, but Lucia Dawn, in, uh, once skilled, can also reach pretty much similar scores as to as Bianca. But of course, as Bianca will still be a lot more easier to play, since while well, you're ranged and she has several DPS modes, which are also really important. Well, for the, bas for the boss battles, as you will see here, really good that you can switch uh, to the other characters and as you can see over here, uh, a Live doing a fantastic job at keeping the mob locked. a Live is one of the most important characters in the game because she can also, besides healing, besides giving buffs, she can time lock the enemies, giving you a couple of valuable seconds to take uh, your DPS out and pretty much unleash your full damage on the boss while the boss is stunned. And that is really uh, important for Pain Cage, really important for other challenging stuff in the game, challenging content mostly can be really important and really useful in the border control of the new uh, the new event that we have that we got in the new event recently and it can be really, really important for strongholds uh, border control is actually the strongholds version 2.0 so you can use her in strongholds pretty easily and of course in the border control stages you can use her there, there as well without any problems and for the most, for the other more trickier bosses, in this case the Nightmare Ball, this character will still uh, rely mostly on skill, because once the Nightmare Ball starts floating, the structures start dying. <laughs> that's that's usually how how stuff uh, how stuff goes in the game over here when you're fighting the Nightmare Ball, and being ranged gives her a really good advantage over over this enemy and once really uh, once in the zone as I call it you can take out the boss really quickly without any problems without getting hit especially uh, if the boss starts to spam the frontal lasers that aren't a big problem to evade that's the easiest attack to evade from this boss so training and overall uh, planning does take you in the game for a very long time and overall will give you a nice nice skill boost that pretty much you will need when you start to play the game and of course a learning curve isn't that isn't that big but there are several things that uh, you have to get used to one of them like I said is the evasion and some of them is the difficulty of the bosses the bosses in this in this game are difficult and they are no joke so expect to die a lot at first but after after you get used to it it will not be a big problem at all. Well there, there we go. The Nightmare Ball has been defeated really easily and the Lightning team again proved to be one of the most effective teams in the game. Well, onto the final boss of the video, Rosetta. Again, we can expect similar results with the Lightning team. Now we will see how the next character, the, how, next, how the next S Lucia will affect the the overall balance scale. Uh, she can, she has the potential to be more powerful than S. Bianca, of course, because she's a nice character, nice structure, and we'll, it will be really interesting to compare the scores between these two characters. But at this moment, 
of recording. This is the most powerful lighting and most overall powerful elemental structure in the game. And as such, she does rightfully deserve uh, that place since she is really lethal. But again, we will see uh, the next as Lucius arrival how she will affect the overall list. And I can't wait to test her out against as Bianca. I think that will be really interesting. Now, I'm not quite sure if there are any uh, ice support structures. I think there are not at this very moment. So I personally think even after S. Lucia gets released, uh, the next one in the next update, that S. Bianca will still have a edge over her because of the lighting, lighting elemental damage boost that she can get from A. Leaf. So in that in that terms, I think still that the that S. Bianca will uh, still prevail as the highest elemental damage character in the game. But of course, we will see that in the next update when... Well, next update next week, pretty much. And well, uh, Rosetta pretty much was a easy fight. It was a really interesting ending there. Well, on to the other challenging stages, where I test the overall usability of the character against heavy mobs. And, over and here, you also see uh, that she is doing a really good job at taking them out. Again, uh, it's all relies on the player's skill level and it all depends on how uh, how we play, how I play. If I would to play really bad, well, I would die really quickly. If I play good, I will live longer. So that's pretty much um, pretty much the most important topic. It is to uh, use the structures properly and to pretty much uh, train combat with them. That way uh, you will avoid couple mistakes that I did here and that is uh, wasting my evasions of course doing that to just show what can happen when you when you play and to what th what things to avoid with this team and, and of course things that you should do now you see me spamming red and blue a lot because that's pretty much my main my main damage outcome and from time to time I spam the yellow QT which which I should spam a lot more to pop, uh, to pop a leaf into the field to give me the proper lighting damage boost that I need. And the proper gameplay style with this character would be to find a balance between red, blue and yellow and to use them all at the same time and to maximize uh, your lighting damage and in the meantime uh, evading attacks without any problems at all. That's pretty much how this team should be played and how I, uh, how I try to play them. And so far, I gotta tell you, I, I've been having lots of fun playing with this team uh, at the moment. This team has been carrying me uh, through a lot of stages in the game. They have carried me through a lot of content in the game. And I'm really happy that I actually got the opportunity to, uh, to have them. And I gotta tell you, they're really powerful structures. And I'm really interested to, <coughs> to see what the future structures will bring future support structures as well. I will get those um, those two. Well then, uh, that was it for the for the lightning team. It was a bit short, but uh, like I said, this team is so effective that everything that, that you play with them is going to be cleared really quickly. And here you can see also the equipment that I was using, which is also uh, all signature and of course all really recommended for the for the structures. And again, you can experiment with your own builds. Uh, this is just a build that I personally like a lot. It is for the lighting team. And as you can see, all of these structures support each other really well. And they work uh, together uh, really effectively and really smoothly, which is also really important. Well, then, with that being said, I hope that this was helpful. And well, it was my pleasure to play this for you. And well, with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Take care.